Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I'm here today with a haul. Now these things are just a couple things I've picked up from Tuesday morning. Um, the container store and also a local store called um, Jerry's Artorama. And I'm actually going to start with that one. So I have, we have this place here in Raleigh and it was actually, it's um, I guess founded in Raleigh. Their warehouse and everything is here. Um, I mean, their corporate office and everything is here, but it's called Jerry's Artorama, and it's actually, it's an artist supplier store, and um, at least, when you walk in the one, at least here, I'm not sure how it is, and there's one in New York, Tennessee, Connecticut, New Jersey, Florida, of course, Raleigh, um, West Palm Beach, Florida, Rhode Island, Connecticut, oh, there's two in Connecticut, Texas and Colorado so there are a couple around but Jerry's Art Artorama is truly an artist store like they sell um, like huge canvases there they sell all of your artist supplies um, the watercolor section is like crazy I'm not really personally into watercoloring I just haven't got there yet <laughs> um, but I see all the wonderful watercolor palettes there that I see everyone scrapbook with plus probably like um, ones that are a million times better, you know, artist grade ones. So if you're in any of these cities and or visit any of these cities and haven't checked out Jerry's Art Aroma, have never heard of it, I suggest you go in there because I just found some really cool things. Their selection of Copic markers and chalk and things like that is like insane. And they have tons of, um, I was starting to look down the watercolor um, pad section just to kind of see if like okay well you know I've seen people use this one it's insane there's probably over a hundred different options and all different sizes by all different brands like it's crazy so I was like okay this is a little too much for me I'm gonna walk away from this section so I only picked up two things we were actually there because Ernest needed some paint brushes and they have like a million paint brush options but um, I just picked up two things for myself just thought it'd be nice to share this with you and on my Facebook page on uh, my um, like fan page, I'm going to create a document. I have to make sure I can do that on that. Not my group, but on the actual like fan page or whatever, um, or company page. I am going to um, create a document of, of um, craft supply stores that I have visited um, you know, in my travels, I travel some, I don't travel a ton, but I do travel some. And I'm not going to include the like chain scrapbook stores or like Tuesday morning or anything like that but I am going to include things like this where it's not necessarily your chain it may be a local scrapbooking store something like that so I'm going to include that this one there um, but as I travel around that's just going to be kind of like a working document for me I've kind of tried to make it a point that as I travel to try to find a local scrapbooking store because we don't really have one here in Raleigh we have like your major chain ones but we don't have any local ones anymore not since archivers closed so anyways what I bought I brought the um, fiber castell dust free eraser I just wanted a really nice white eraser eraser to be able to use um, in scrapbooking um, so I bought one of those, I think it was like 80 cents or something, and then I bought a T-square ruler. It's just a 12-inch T-square ruler. I've been wanting one, and I just had never purchased one, so I went ahead and bought one of those. So those are the two things that I bought from Jerry's Artorama. Nothing like fancy, but I just enjoy walking in there, and I have bought a ton of my um, pins from there. They have so many beautiful pins, and they have um, Stedler pins, like the um, the sets, not the ones that you get at like Target or Michaels, but they have like the the artist collection of those pins. So the multi liners, fine liners, and all of that. Um, so not just not just the Tri Plus fine liner, but they may have a set of five or six different black ones or something like that. So they have they just have a lot of stuff like that. All right, so I've got my two things here. Then I went to the container store and I picked up a couple things. Now, I have talked about this before. I can't remember which video I talked about it, but I think about two weeks ago or so, I had talked about when I had purchased these papers at Joann's, I had talked about the fact that I wanted to be starting a baby album for Kaylin because I was not scrapbooking at the time that he was born. I, I had not yet gotten into the craft. So I have purchased um, just a variety of different scrapbook papers that are kind of like baby boy themed, and I'm going to start collecting things in my stash that are baby themed. Like I have a Project Life card set and start kind of compiling it together in this bag just labeled baby album 
And so what I did is I went ahead and purchased an album. Now I plan to do this one in eight and a half by 11. Um, and I just purchased this binder because I thought it was kind of pretty and I like the fact that it's really sturdy and on my shelf it won't be bulging out like that. But I like the fact that like the edges are very sturdy and this is from the container store. I looked at a bunch of different ones. I like, I kind of wanted something decorative um, and I looked at a bunch of different ones at like Michael's and I like Target and a bunch of other places but this is the one it's got like a textured surface so it almost feels like canvas um and it's just really well put together I feel anyways I played with a lot of them and like messed with the binder system and all of that and I just really like the way this one was plus I like the gray and the white for some reason it just kind of called to me so when I was there I also went ahead and got some sheet protectors and I got this pack of 10 um, and they were clear, they were a really nice clear sheet protector, and there wasn't any branding on the, um, um, what do you call this, reinforcer part. So I'm kind of playing around with the idea of covering this with washi tape on all of them and just using the same washi tape throughout the album. I haven't decided that. But I went ahead and bought 20 sheet protectors, so this is enough for 40 pages. I really don't think I'm going to do quite that many, but I wanted to give myself that option, so I grabbed these when I was there. So I'm, I'm starting my pile. This may be not, this album may not be started for another six months, but I'm starting. All right. And then, oh, I forgot. Also at um, the container store, I got this because I just can't resist a cool aqua ruler. I mean, let's just be real here. And it's called their Poppin Ruler, and it's just a really square ruler and actually it'd be really good for tearing washi tape if you're using washi tape in your planner you know how you tear with your ruler just so you don't have to constantly um pull why is that weird to me why don't you oh it's a th wow i am losing my freaking mind so i didn't think about it i was like why is it longer than my 12 inch it's because it's a 13 inch ruler <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm losing my mind. So, anyways, I have this Tim Holtz one, and I love it, but the only problem is, one time, because you've got the edge that has the metal part, and then you've got your other edge, and I was not a genius one time, let's just, I'll give myself a break, this one time I wasn't a genius, and I used my, um knife like usually if you're going to use your like exacto knife or blade you got to use it on the metal side so it doesn't nick your um, plastic part and i used it on the plastic part so i cannot actually use this side with if i'm using it to draw a straight line with a pen because it's all jaggedy from where i keep i have done that like two or three times and like especially this section is very rough feeling so i definitely love it for lining up things for centering things as well as the exacto knife piece of it um, I'm also starting to realize that some of my lines are starting to kind of um, come come off, like fade off. So I got this one more so to be able to draw lines because it's such a clean and crisp square corner. Like, it's so square, look, it stands up on its own. And it's, I mean, who can resist the aqua? Like, let's be real. It's just a pretty ruler. So I went ahead and got that. Oh, look, I'm like, my ruler game is stepping up. These are all my rulers. Aren't they pretty? This comes in a bunch of different colors. I actually considered pink, but the pink that they have now is more of like an orangey neon, and I wasn't into that. All right. Oh, oh I just stuck my butt on this ruler. That hurt. Okay. Um, then I went to Tuesday morning. And I picked up random things, as I always do. I got these Remarks stickers. Um, alpha stickers they're in the Madison collection or Madison font and it's the letter sticker book and look at that in black and you get one six seven, eight pages I'm gonna go ahead and take this out because I don't keep it in its packaging just don't keep it in its packaging because it's got this cool flip book thing that can cover the front and keep them protected. But look at those. I mean, look at these A's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have 20 A's. Do you know how much stuff I could do with 20 A's? I've got all those S's and T's. <sighs> Who would have thought I'd be counting the number of letters? And then the E's are beautiful as well. So I just thought that was kind of cool. And I think it was $2.99. Is that right? 
Yes, it was $2.99. Then I got this um, die cut pack from Imaginese. I think that's how you say it. And it is the Adventure. It doesn't really have a name, but I would call it Adventure. If I were going to make a name up for it, it would be Adventure. But we've got like Rediscover Adventure, Wild and Free, Wild Child. You got a fire, um, a little motorcycle or dirt bike rather. Um, gone Camping, a fishing rod. Um, like a four-wheeler, an axe, a canteen, take a hike, s'mores, mountains, um, play in the dirt. A lot of just little random camping things. And I have started a camping envelope, just like or a um, zip bag, just like I had the baby album. So I have one for, I have all my seasons, like my holidays. If they weren't, oh, those were already divided anyways. I have Halloween, Christmas, and um I have Thanksgiving, but there's very little in there, so I think I might end up combining it with my Halloween just because sometimes those things, like the pumpkins and things, are kind of cross, cross, so I don't know what word I was going to use, cross something. Um, but really, it's Halloween and Christmas are really the things that I have the most holiday related. And I do not keep my Valentine's things separated by holiday because I can use hearts any time of the year. It's really just Halloween and Christmas that I keep separated. Um, Everything else is separated by manufacturer, but I have also started zip bags for, of course, the baby album, as you saw. Um, camping, because we had that big camping trip, and I would like to do a bunch of pages on that. And then also um, the beach, or, or summer, things like that. Basically the beach, because we've done a couple trips to the beach, and I would like to kind of have some beach-themed products. I have a lot of beach-themed products, like, miscellaneously throughout my... Um, stash so I'm kind of as I come across them I stick them in that zipper bag so that whenever I do print those photos and do them I have all those products together otherwise I won't use like sand or you know flip-flops and things like that that's harder to use unless you're actually doing album I mean um layouts on that so I picked up these downtown abbey um, paper doilies there are 50 white doilies in here in the four inch size and these were $1.99 now I have since found a much better deal deal on Amazon on the smaller doilies, but I went ahead and got these because I can't pass up a pack of doilies to save my life. And I thought these were kind of pretty. These are actually a different um, lace pattern than what I had um, seen on Amazon as well. So I have 50 of them here, and they will go in my stash because I love doilies, like love, love, love doilies. Then... I got uh, the Crepe Paper Cool Kid and Cute Girl Ephemera. I guess it's an embellishment pack. They have enamel dots. They have sequin stars. And then they have paper clips. So this one has star paper clips and like a um, glittery and black enamel dots. As well as silver and blue or aqua um, sequin stars and then this one has two different shades of pink and gold enamel dots um, kind of a seafoam green and gold sequin star and then bows so I got both of these are $1.50 each you could never have too many of this type of product in your stash so I got those and I don't have either one of those um, and then I also picked up the pebbles printed cardstock and vellum shapes I did not actually think there was any vellum in here I guess there is I didn't open it yet just thought it was printed cardstock but it's um, basically fourth of july themed or usa themed you, you could use it for just um you know like patriotic pages it doesn't necessarily have to be fourth of july um, but i thought it had some really cool things um summary related things with ice cream cones um cherries and watermelon but also like fourth of july with the fireworks and um the little sparklers thing and then, you know, even if you are into the Olympics, which I am, but I don't have any pages for that. But if you ever did any Olympic style pages, you've also got a lot of red, white, and blue um, USA and things like that. So I just thought that would be kind of nice. And it has the, uh, now see, I would actually use this. So there's a, I pledge allegiance to the flag, or um, um, pledge allegiance in, in here. And I actually might include that in some of Kaylin's school um photos because of course they say the pledge allegiance at school all right and the very last thing that i have purchased is this beautiful hey kid paper pad by pink paisley and okay i do not remember who told me about this i feel like it was jen but maybe it wasn't jen 
Is it Sharon? I don't remember who told me about this, but somebody told me that they got this at Tuesday morning for $3.99 and they couldn't pass it up. And I was just thinking to myself, well, I don't think I could pass it up either. And lo and behold, I see it like the next time I go to Tuesday morning. <laughs> it wasn't there when I went originally, but then it was there. So it's $3.99 for this 48 sheets of Pink Paisley Hey Kid collection. I mean, like for real, I can't, I mean, $4, like it, it would be like scrapbooking, um, God, my words are not coming today. War, uh, I don't know. It would be like cursing scrapbooking to not pick this up. Unless you already have it, of course. So I got it. And these are the papers. And not every single one of these are my favorite. But for a four bucks, I can find a... Re I love that one, Rockstar. I think that's so cute. Of course, you've got your grid. I've got the like different things you can cut apart. That's pretty, too. Polka dots. Lots of designs. Some like six by six papers you can cut, which I think is cool. This one is a pink star. These are like um, glittered. Um, some cut aparts, things you could punch out, and then it repeats. So I think it's cool. I like it. I like it. I think this is the exact paper because I had um, rock star printing on it is my favorite. Then also I like the cut apart sheet too. I think that one's kind of nice because it has the glittered pieces on it. See? See, see, see. But anyways, that's going to go in my pink paisley bag. And that's it, y'all. I don't have a whole lot. I've got some, like, really random things. And this has actually been on my list to purchase for a while. And so has this. This has been on my list to purchase for so long. My T-square ruler. So it has been on my list to purchase for so long. I feel like now I can actually draw straight lines. <laughs> regardless of whether my paper is straight on my, um, sh um, not worksheet, um, work mat or not. I feel like I can still draw straight lines now, which is totally amazing. And I want to say it was like a dollar. So, hey, it doesn't have to be the best in the world, but it will, it will work. And it works just fine. So, that is it. That's all I have for y'all today. I hope you have enjoyed. And I should be back soon. I'm sure I'll buy more, like, in the next 24 hours because I can't seem to stay away. Um, <laughs> but I'm trying to, like, make a list of things that I want or really need. That way when I go, I'm not totally distracted by just all the wonderful goodness, but I'm actually, like, looking for the things that I need. <laughs> I can still buy the things that are so, like, scrappy goodness, but I need to make sure I'm picking up the things I need as well instead of just getting totally distracted. <laughs> so that's all I got. Thanks, guys. I will chat with y'all later. Bye.